Paul. Nearly three weeks ago, the ground in southwest Detroit heaved into the air. It buckled the road, destroyed buildings, and left a lot of questions as to what caused it. Today, still no clear answer as crews began digging at the site. Defender Sean Lay is live there right now. What are we hearing now, Sean, this long after it first happened? You know, the defenders finding out one cause here that's abnormal soft ground. The city says that is what making that's what making this area unstable here. Abnormal soft ground, but finding out why the ground is so soft underneath the surface here. That was the focus of a big dig here as we also continue to dig for answers. Over there, somewhere the earth gave out and it spread out and it knocked the building off its foundation and pushed the street up. From his home, Bernard Japotis has a front row seat to the investigation into a massive ground shift that caused Dearborn Street to buckle. He also noticed that large piles of iron and metal at the scrapyard right next to the ground shift seems to have sunk. That the pile was like this high, and the next day it was this, this high, so it Pushed out. Bernard is not far off finding what caused the ground to shift that knocked a building off its foundation. Is there a cause yet to all this? Uh, well, what we do know, what we can say uh, is that the ground is soft. Hakeem Barry is Detroit's chief operating officer. He's in charge of finding out the cause, cure, and where this might happen again. Mayor Duggan pointed to weight on top of that soft ground, and you can see weight everywhere you look here. Heavy trucks run nonstop. Materials at Fort Iron and Metal nearby are piled high. And we see the weight all around us. Is that playing a role? Well, we think that's uh, uh, a victim of the soft ground as well. It's not a cause, but a victim. It's a victim. So you can build a building on soft ground, but you just have to know you're building on soft ground. If I lived right near here and the ground is soft right there, should I worry? Um, you know, that's one of the things that we want to find out uh, and mainly want to see what causes the conditions. Uh, if I live in this area, I will probably watch and make sure that I don't see any anomalies in my home. Back here live, Hakeem Barry also telling us no evacuations or planned evacuations are in store for this area while the investigation continues. The city is also looking at limiting weight, bulk weight all over the city, like facilities like the one we're right next to here, and even city facilities where there is bulk material. They're going to look at possible restrictions there as the investigation into why the ground is soft here continues. Devin Kimberly, back to you. It's interesting, Sean. We saw there a lot of, I guess, what you'd call careful digging in that area under Dearborn Street. We were got pretty close to that. It's extremely careful because the ground is soft. They don't want another collapse or shift of the ground. Also interesting, every piece of concrete the city says it gets lifted, they find different old and new utilities down there that aren't on the maps. They got to map all that out, go in, find out why the soft is ground, see if there's any, why the ground is soft, see if there's any repairs, and then start thinking about repairing the street after all of that. Yeah. All right, Sean, we'll stay on it.